Hello everyone and welcome to the front nine of the challenge course at Palm Valley Country Club. This is one of my favorite golf courses in the Palm Springs, Palm Desert area because it's very short. It's only about 4,000 yards. It's so much fun. This course requires a lot of irons off the tee, wedges into greens. It's just a really easy way to knock the rust off from the winter going into your spring or summer season. Second shot on hole one, had about 125 yards in. Hitting a 50 degree wedge here. Good looking shot. This ball comes down right on the pin, a little bit short and spins back down to the front of the green. Here we have about a 30 footer up the hill, breaking about a foot and a half from right to left. A good putt up there for my third shot, tapping in for par. Hole two, another par four, only 290 yards. The aim to be out there in the middle of the fairway, even with that cart path out there, is only about a 210, 220 yard shot. So typically you hit a four or five iron here. This was a really good strike, but I pulled it just a little bit. You can see it start to draw at the end, and I just run through the fairway at the end. Only about 60 or 65 yards in. This pin is on the very front side of the green. There really isn't a way to stop this ball within about 10 or 15 feet past the hole. So that's really your goal is to be about middle of the green. Once I hit this ball, the grass grabbed onto the club and really shut the face. You can see that ball land and just roll to the back left corner of the green. Here we have about 30 or 35 feet downhill breaking from left to right. The key on these first two putts, the one on hole one and this putt here, is really speed. The first couple holes of any round, I'm really focusing on the speed of my putts rather than trying to make the putts. I'm not trying to get super close on my wedge shots, and I just want to try to get a feel for the greens. This hole is one that's drivable typically. Right now, the wind is at my back, but as soon as I step over the ball, and get set, the wind shifts for going from right to left into my face. What I should have done is back off and reset, but instead I do that and just skull one into the bank, rolls up and bounces into the water. After dropping and taking a penalty, I'm now hitting three into the green. Right. Wedge shot here from about 110 yards, goes to the back right edge of the green. If this ball only would have been about a foot and a half shorter, it would have rolled down the hill to about, I don't know, 15 feet. But instead it stayed on the hill and now I have about a 25 footer that breaks almost 90 degrees at the top of this hill where that marker is. And then it takes a hard left down to the hole, another probably 20 feet. So I have to hit this ball about 10 feet to the right of the screen, and then it just dives left towards the hole.
I missed my spot by about a foot and a half short of that blue marker and sure enough that putt ended up about a foot and a half left of that hole. If I would have just hit a little bit harder at the start, it should have gotten high enough to go and get closer to the hole. But only about a foot and a half here, two feet to make bogey. And that's my first bogey. I'm now one over par. Hole number four is 272 if you go around the water, but if you take it over the water, it's only about a 210 yard carry to clear the water, 225 to carry the bunker, and then 235 to be in the middle of that green. So that's my plan here is to take a two iron dead straight at the green. Over the ball, I felt like I had to kind of muscle it up just a little bit to get it there. And that's never a good thing. You add a lot of tension into your swing. And sure enough, red line, bad shot. Almost shanked it, but it was a good miss. It ended up being in the middle of a fairway up here, only about 65 yards from the hole. I hit this chip shot really well, but it comes down on the green and takes a huge kick to the left. So a shot that should have been at about five or six feet is now at maybe 12 or 15. And on this putt, it breaks hard from left to right. I immediately know that I missed this putt. I left the face wide open and I knew I was gonna miss it right. I never, never had a chance to get it high enough. But after that bad tee shot and a really poor putt, I'm happy getting away with par. Hole number five starts four in a row par threes. That's what makes this course kind of challenging as well as being fun. The par threes can get pretty long and there are a lot of them. Good drawing tee shot, comes down just left of the pin and bounces long left of the pin to about 15 feet. Here I have about a 15 footer that's mostly downhill with a slight break from our right to left. A really good stroke on this putt, just misses the lip. Rolls about a foot and a half by the hole. And a tap in here for par. Hole number six, 149 yards. Slightly downhill, a little bit downwind. I'm hitting a pitching wedge here, trying to hit it about 140. and a well-struck ball, just not quite drawing in. Gets me pin high, maybe 12 to 15 feet right of the hole. A good putt with just not enough pace. If I hit that a little bit harder, it stays straight through the break and I make that birdie, but a tap in par, can't complain. Hole number seven is a gorgeous long par three with the mountains in the background, the lake right in front, these tall palm trees, just a gorgeous hole. I have a seven iron here and I tried to muscle it up just a little too much 
and I double cross it and just pull this thing so far left. Red line, bad shot, left to the green, up near these palm trees. You can see just where, just how far left this tee shot went. I'm up uh, almost against this palm tree where I don't really have a follow through. My left shoulder is about six inches away from this palm tree. And I try to bump and run one and it just grabs. You can see my hand gesture showing that it, as soon as it hit the fringe, it just grabbed and wouldn't release through the fringe. So now I have about eight feet breaking from left to right. And I hit a very poor putt. <laughs> I pulled that thing eight inches left of where it needed to be. And now I would just walk up to this next putt, not very focused, just trying to tap it in not being focused, push that putt away from the hole, tapping in for double bogey and a three putt. Hole number eight, I'm now three over par. This is another beautiful hole with the palm trees and these three or four or five tier lakes. Just a great hole. A slightly thin seven iron, which didn't quite draw enough, gets me just past pin high on the right side of the green. 20 feet here for birdie. And I hit that putt so bad. Pulled it on the last hole, pulled it on this hole, and you can see by my face, I'm just disgusted by that putt. This, I'm left with about three feet. Tap in for my par. Hole number nine, this hole is usually drivable with just a three wood. So you take dead aim right at the green, which is what I do confidently. I pull my three wood and I absolutely hit this thing so far off the toe. I snap hook this ball. It is going directly at a house. And then luckily it hits a palm tree and goes into the water off of the very first tee box. The water, if you go back in the video and see the water right in front of hole number one, I am right into that water. So instead of dropping up near those palm trees without having a shot, I choose to re-tee. And as all the golfers know, the second ball is always better. A pure four iron, nice little draw up the dead center of the fairway. So after the penalty shot, re-tee number two, I hit my third shot into the fairway here and I'm now hitting four into the green. Here is my putt for bogey. That shot, I really just wanted to get up here past the pin, made sure I had a putt at bogey. This was one of my best putts of the round. And it's looking good, it's tracking and just hits a dirty lip at the end. You can see Ben in the background freaking out. That was one of my best putts of the round so far. And I tap in here for double to shoot five over on the round. So sadly, one bogey, two doubles, no birdies, shooting 37, five over on that front nine. Guys, stay tuned for the back nine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Round two, back nine, coming soon.